What does grade and stage mean in the context of breast cancer? If somebody's cancer is a grade 3, does that mean that they have a stage 3 breast cancer? Hello, my name is Dr. Tasha and I am a breast cancer surgeon. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the differences between grade and stage in the context of breast cancer. And this is an extremely common question that people ask me all the time. And this is totally understandable because it can be quite confusing. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, what are the differences between grade and stage? Well, grading tells us how active the cells are and what they look like underneath the microscope. It can be used as a prognostic indicator where the lower the grade, the less aggressive the cancer is, as opposed to the higher the grade, the more aggressive that cancer can be. Staging, on the other hand, looks at whether the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. And this includes whether it's gone to the lymph nodes or surrounding structures, or whether it has traveled to distant parts of the body, such as the lung, the liver, the bones, or the brain. So let's go through this step by step. So as I've mentioned, grading can be used as a prognostic indicator. In breast cancer, there are normally three grades, grade one, two, and grade three. Grade one being the least aggressive and grade three being the most aggressive. To understand a little bit better as to what grading is all about, we need to look at the basic building blocks of life, AKA the cell. Cells are the basic structural and functional units of life, and you can only see them underneath the microscope. Within each cell, there are different organelles that carry out specific tasks. For example, the nucleus carries out cell division, or we also call mitosis, and mitochondria for respiration. There's also the cytoplasm that fills each cell and in which all these organelles are suspended in. Normal cells usually have uniform appearances and they are of similar size to their neighbors. They have a good cytoplasm to nucleus ratio as well. Cancer cells, on the other hand, behave quite differently. Their sizes can vary, the nucleus can be more pronounced, and the cells can be seen to be arranged in a very haphazard way. The more aggressive a cancer is, the more pronounced are these features. So in grade one cancer, the breast cells are more uniformly shaped with low mitotic activity and the cells still look like breast cells. Grade two, the cells start to vary in shape a little. And there is more activity in the cell division and the cells are starting to adhere less to each other. And now in grade three, there is variation in cell shape. There is high cell division activity and the cells are becoming more varied in shape and are looking less like normal breast cells. On top of which, they are starting to climb on top of each other and they're losing their boundaries from one another. And these different features can be seen underneath the microscope. And that is how we grade how active these cells are. Staging, on the other hand, is quite different. And it normally describes the size of the cancer, but also whether it has spread to other parts of the body. Whilst grading can give us some prognostic indicators of the aggressiveness of the cancer, staging can help doctors decide whether local treatment is enough. For example, is surgery alone enough? Or whether systemic treatments such as chemotherapy or immunotherapy may be needed. Broadly speaking, there are two types of staging. There is the TNM system or the number system. Now let's talk about the TNM system. The TNM system stands for tumor node metastasis, and it's what doctors normally use formally. The T describes the size of the tumor. The N describes whether the cancer has spread to the lymph nodes or the lymph glands. And finally, the M describes whether the cancer has spread beyond the lymph nodes to different parts of the body. The number staging system, I would say, is more popularly used amongst non-medics and is the one that most people are familiar with. You may know that there are four stages, so that's one, two, three, and four, and these stages apply to invasive cancer. 
For a non-invasive cancer such as DCIS, this is called stage zero. This is the pre-invasive type of breast cancer. And the cancer cells are confined to the ducts of the breast and have not invaded the surrounding breast tissue. Stage one breast cancer means that the cancer is small and it's only found within the breast tissue or it might be found in the lymph nodes close to the breast. This is an early stage breast cancer. Stage two breast cancer means that the cancer is either in the breast or in the nearby lymph nodes or both. And this is an early stage breast cancer as well, just like a stage one breast cancer. Stage three breast cancer means that the cancer has spread from the breast to the lymph nodes close to the breast or it has spread to the skin of the breast or to the chest wall. And stage three breast cancer is also called locally advanced breast cancer. And lastly, stage four breast cancer means that the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. And you may hear this called advanced cancer or secondary breast cancer or also known as metastatic breast cancer. These are the differences between grade and stage. Grade refers to how aggressive the cancer is, whilst stage tells us whether the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. I hope you have found this helpful, and if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button so you don't miss any new upcoming videos. In the meantime, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.